Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerians, there is fire on the mountain. Asso Rock is on fire. APC, all of them, they just run kati kati now. <laughs> this will shock you. As Tinubu APC begs the the correlation of 30 different Nigeria diaspora organizations who has called the European Union, the United Kingdom, and the United States of America to place visa ban on all the justices and judges of the Court of Appeal and Supreme Court in Nigeria, whose judgment validated the presidency of Asiwe Jibola Metinubu. You know, say those people say they're not going to agree. You say because the Supreme Court and the Presidential Election Petition Court, they were not sincere at all. Trashing out all those petitions on President Bola Metinubu and everything that happened, and they feel that all is well in Nigeria. They say if they keep quiet like that, Nigeria will break into pieces just like as it is now. Everybody just they do their own. They say no. They can't call this this these states, these countries. You say I beg. We don't see all these judges, all these people, and every other individuals that was involved in this, all of them and their family, they're not gonna get visa ban again in your in your country. This is what we are asking you to do. Because right now it seems that our hand, our hands are tied. But let's start from here. So the Tunubu government has appealed to them. They said all this is unnecessary. That what every Nigerian should be talking home and abroad right now is for everybody to come together and build the country. Because the state of Nigeria right now is a the sorry state. That everybody, all hands supposed to be on deck, work together to sh to. To see that Nigeria becomes great again. That is what we should be talking about. They said all this matter, you know, they necessary. So make them forget that matter and make Nigeria great again. Whether you did there was and did there, they push with it and they push. And those people too, when they see the verse for here, they pala, say what the Supreme Court and the Appeal Court do them. Say they're not like them and they're not going to forget them. Say so make them calm down. May they drink water, make them cool. Say because this country needed serious job to do. Who are not say the the correlation of thirty different Nigerian diaspora organization has called on the the EU, that is the Euro, uh, European Union, the UK, the United Kingdom, the US. Now is the, the state the United States of America to place visa ban on all the judges, the justice of the courts of appeal and that of the Supreme Court in Nigeria, who's upheld President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's victory. You understand? And the judge concluded that the February uh, presidential election. They said the visa ban should also affect the justice and judges' family members. So it's not just limited on all the judges and the justice alone. It still goes along to affect their family members. They said, okay, the organizers under the aegis of the correlation of new Nigerian diaspora movement, CNNDM, also agreed to raise... 10 million dollars for 30 days protest and litigations that is being planned against Tunubu in the US for his alleged crimes. According to them, they have resolved to reach out their congressmen and pressure them to push the American Congress to begin an inquest on the 2023 presidential elections in Nigeria that the Chicago State University saga, Bola Metunubu certificate issue, uh -huh. and the, the, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, 
how they refuse to prosecute Tunubu for all the all his crimes. According to them, is so this is what they are pushing. And these were the decisions reached at the end of one week meeting to review the judgment at the Supreme Court delivered on October 26, 2023. So as we are talking right now, this this is still going on. You understand? This issue is still going on. The arrangements and everything in the U.S. is still going on right now. So the resolutions were made public during a press conference in New York by the Secretary General of the group, Jackson Uday, and the Director of Contacts and Mobilization, Timmy Frank, and I know them now, titled Reclaim Nigerian Diaspora Protest, Action Plans on Tenable's Illegitimate Presidency, attained by journalists in Abuja, and this was, okay, done on Monday. In our, they say, Action Plans on Tenable's Legitimate Presidency, in our determination to save Nigerian's democracy, deepening democratic institutions and values to protect our shared common interests and protect the integrity of our country. The leadership of 30 different Nigerian diaspora organizations concluded a meeting that began one week ago to review the sham judgment of the Supreme Court of Nigeria on October 26, 2023, and demand that President Bola Tinubu must resign to save the integrity of the Nigerian presidency. It is our belief that Mr. Tinubu not only rigged the 2023 presidential elections, but he does also not possess the academic credentials to run for the elections. Tinubu forged the Chicago State University degree certificates and as, more, as such committed forgery for which he must be prosecuted. Tunubu is also a member of a drug cartel in the United States of America. As per FBI document recently released, he committed drug crimes. Nigerians, when I don't hear the matter now, so this is getting tougher. They said not only did Tunubu compromise the Independent National Electoral Commission, or INEC, which contoured conducted the 2023 presidential elections. The Tinubu has also compromised the judiciary in Nigeria, which was why the Supreme Court, regardless of all the overwhelming evidence of his election fraud, forgery, and his criminality, went ahead to legalize his presidency against the backdrop millions of Nigerians in diaspora under the ages of the correlation of new Nigerian diaspora movement have agreed and decided to save Nigeria and our democracy, demand immediate institutional reforms, demand immediate resignation of Bola Tinubu so that Nigeria can begin the urgent process of cleansing herself and rebuilding an integrity-based leadership selection process. So guys, I don't hear that now. This is the reason why presidency is now asking them, I beg, make one drop all those ones. Are these, thing, these things you are saying right now, are they really necessary? Hmm. Well, Nigerians, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.